Good evening, National Honor Society members, parents, and families. I'm Gabby Foster, National Honor Society President, and I would like to welcome you to the 2020 induction ceremony of the Berlin High School Chapter of the National Honor Society. As stated on its website, the National Honor Society elevates a school's commitment to the values of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. These four pillars have been associated with membership in the organization since its inception in 1921. Today, it is estimated that more than one million students participate in NHS activities. NHS chapters are found in all 50 states, U.S. territories, Canada, and around the world. Chapter membership not only recognizes students for their accomplishments, but challenges them to develop further through active involvement in school activities and community service. As such, NHS chapters and students are in schools that care not only about student achievement, but also community engagement. NHS students and their peers volunteer in their communities at the highest rates and make connecting with and serving within the community a priority. At this time, the officers and I will discuss the four pillars of National Honor Society. I will start off with the service pillar. Of the four pillars of the National Honor Society, service is the value that connects this chapter most closely with our community. Engaging in acts of service throughout the year entails devoting time and effort into volunteer activities that better this community as a whole. No matter how small or large a project is, the passionate drive volunteers have to commit acts of kindness and do work for others is a remarkable quality a trait that each one of us has demonstrated and will continue to demonstrate this year through avid volunteerism. Being students in an academically motivated setting, it's crucial for us to allocate time for personal growth and dedication to our school and town communities. As members of the BHS chapter of the National Honor Society, we must actively demonstrate our commitment to education, leadership, integrity, and of course, compassion for others through volunteer work. Not only do acts of service benefit those in need, they also incite growth in ourselves. Participating in service opportunities during our formative years sets precedents that encourage us to continue prioritizing the well-being of others well into adulthood. Engaging in a variety of service work has a profoundly positive impact on our lives as it encourages interpersonal communication, helps us form connections, and improves our ability to work in team settings as we delegate between peers and effectively collaborate with others to reach common goals. These pertinent life skills, which are acquired through service experience, prepares us for opportunities in college and beyond. It's imperative we have these experiences now because in addition to fostering innumerable skills, witnessing the influence of having compassion for others incites enthusiasm for volunteerism. Equipping students with communication and organizational skills is absolutely a benefit of routine volunteer work, but the most rewarding part of service will always be knowing that your contributions made a difference in the lives of others. Recognizing the impact of our service connects us to our community and it broadens our understanding of a greater good. Participating in volunteer work requires individuals to look beyond their own lives to consider what they can do for others. Being involved with NHS provides students a pathway to volunteer locally and reconnect with some of the most important values in life, humbleness, generosity, and compassion for others. Though we are faced with unconventional challenges, I look forward to planning and participating in many safe service projects with all of you. As we volunteer this year, I hope each member considers the positive impact they have in our community and develops a profound passion for helping others. Hello, I'm Michaela Gorski, and I'm the Vice President of the Berlin High School Chapter of the National Honor Society. Today, I will be speaking about the NHS Scholarship Pillar. If asked to define scholarship, many would highlight academic achievement, high intellect, and enrollment in a rigorous course of study. In the context of the National Honor Society, however, scholarship doesn't just signify intelligence. A scholar is not solely defined by a GPA, SAT, ACT, or IQ. 
Oftentimes, these numbers do reflect effort and a dedication to learning. Yet, a scholar knows that a low score on one standardized test does not directly indicate disregard of the learning process. In addition to this, a scholar is not solely invested in learning because they aim to be commended by others. True scholars embark on a journey of personal growth, driven to develop an understanding of the world around them. They learn with the purpose of feeding their ravenous curiosity, growing as a person, even tackling today's global challenges. Finally, a scholar is not solely driven to learn in a school setting. Scholars engage in an active pursuit of knowledge, both in and out of educational opportunities. Even after formal education, scholars strive to continue contributing to a global pool of knowledge. In the National Honor Society, we value a lifelong commitment to learning and the effort that learners put in, no matter the impending reward. Effort is apparent among students in the National Honor Society. These are the students that stay after school when they have a question regarding course content. The students that sometimes stay up a little too late ensuring they grasp the information for tomorrow's test. The students that tell themselves, no, I can't go watch another episode of The Office because I have a paper due later this week. Students who take advantage of the opportunities made available to them from extra credit projects to applying for an online class or even visiting the writing center to strengthen their writing skills. Students who consistently go above and beyond. It is this quality an utmost commitment to learning that will enable our members to succeed later in life. Being a lifelong learner doesn't necessarily mean conducting research in a lab through each stage in your life or even committing yourself to learn a new vocabulary word once a month. Rather, a lifelong learner dedicates themselves to learning through life experiences, whether that be learning a useful skill that will assist them in their profession, developing an understanding of a particular culture, or investigating a new hobby. As members of the National Honor Society, we will cultivate this mindset while simultaneously upholding the pillars of service, character, and leadership. Thus, the pillar of scholarship better defined as a lifelong commitment to learning, is an integral part of the National Honor Society. This value will follow us throughout our lives and enable both personal and academic growth, setting us up for success in our future endeavors. With this induction to the National Honor Society, I look forward to working alongside my peers on our journey to become lifelong learners. Hello everyone, I am Gina Scalero, the Secretary of Berlin High's National Honor Society chapter this year. I will be speaking on our society's character pillar today. One's character is ever evolving. We were given life with a blank storybook to take along the way. With each day that goes by, we fill the pages of our story with the actions that define who we are. With every word we speak, we craft our character. As National Honor Society members, we have the responsibility to be people that uphold the society's expectations of having a noble character. Some of NHS's attributes of a stellar character are perseverance, respect, integrity, honesty, and sacrifice. Our character defines what we do and how we speak, two things of the utmost importance to how we are perceived as members of NHS. We lead by example taking part in community service and speaking our voice. We all must remember that without respecting those two key things, our character might falter from what it should be. Character can also be seen as our moral compass. This enables us to have the courage to choose what is right, even if that is the unpopular opinion. In NHS, our character is truly seen when nobody is watching. The character upheld by us within the school is not about getting recognition for all that we do. It is about sincere decision-making that affects everyone, not just one of us. When looking at the four pillars of NHS as a whole, character can be seen as the buttress for the three other pillars. Although your management of character has gotten you to this point today, it does not stop there. After you are inducted, you are now devoting your life to pushing boundaries for the greater good. Surpass your own expectations for yourself every now and then to remind yourself that you are the volunteerist, the scholar, and the leader you are because you have followed your own intuitions. You are the only one who can claim your own story and how you should be remembered. 
Leave a legacy that is shown through your decisive actions, kind voice, and honorable judgment. Always remember that your character is your persona, and without it, you are not going to be able to reach your full potential. Your character is never done developing. Your character will never be 100% perfect. Your character is never going to be like anyone else's. That is okay. As long as your character is respectable, then that is acceptable. As we do service, push ourselves in academics, and lead with confidence, our character will help mold us into better people, even if we do not know it at first. We will carry character with us throughout our senior year, and with that, I look forward to working with all of you to create our own stories. As the treasurer of the Berlin High School National Honor Society, I will be speaking about the leadership pillar. If searched on the internet, leadership can be defined as the action of leading a group of people or an organization. However, leadership is more than a person who knows how to interact with a group of people. A leader is someone who exerts an exemplary influence on the people around them, someone who dedicates their efforts to strive for excellence in the success of their peers. Dedicated leaders take the initiative to become something more than just themselves, reaching a larger population to enforce a positive change in involvement within the community. Leadership is highlighted by the actions we take to build our society both in and out of the classroom. It is the steps we take as young adults which pave the way for future generations by being role models and carrying ourselves with pride while taking responsibility for our actions. Within the National Honor Society, we recognize and value the involvement of our students who exemplify the qualities of being a leader through the three other pillars, scholarship, service, and character. Leadership can be found in various forms, whether that is inside or outside of school. Leadership is not always defined by a title such as captain, president, or manager. Leaders are people who demonstrate the characteristics of reliability and accountability. These are the people who exhibit initiative by speaking up, making suggestions and decisions, as well as promoting school activities and service. Leaders are the students who are not afraid to respond to questions in class and the ones who begin or continue discussions during group collaboration. Outside of the classroom, leaders take part in community service and extracurriculars, advocating and working towards success with their peers. Students who continuously strive to make themselves and the people around them better while working towards a common goal. National Honor Society is made up of current and future leaders of our school and our community. Students with the utmost respect, dedication, and commitment to shape the world and the people around them for the betterment of society. A leader embodies the other three pillars of National Honor Society, withstanding excellence through service, scholarship, and character. As members of this society, we continue to search for new ways to flourish within our environment while learning besides our peers. These qualities that we develop over our four years of high school not only strengthen our ability to lead, but also our intent to grow. We learn from each other through leadership as we continue to adapt to new situations as we strive for greatness within our community. At this time, I would like to introduce the Class of 2020 National Honor Society President, Jenna Smalley, to begin the induction of new members. At this time, we will begin the induction of our new members. Induction into our chapter of National Honor Society includes signing the membership book, which dates back to 1947. Marissa Burrell. Julia Bennett. Jessica Boucher. Molly Brett, Michael Bryant, Tori Cascone, Allison Cavanaugh, Kelly Chinluski, Peter Cohen, Bella Crossley, Brianna Destoli. Sophia Dombrowski, Ava Dubuck, Jacob Dubinsky, Abigail Farland, 
Sophia Farragudo. Shannon Flaherty. Hannah Footit. Gabrielle Foster. Michaela Gorski. Emily Hijack. Luke and Peluso. Emma Johnson. Kelly Kozlowski. Emma LaFrance. Erica Lavoie. Timothy Lewis. Jacob Lindsay. Patrick Lukens. Brendan Malcarney. Catherine Markey. Ryan McGowan. Jasmine Metcalf. Julia Oakes. Jaden Paldino. Madeline Palmese. Jay Patel. Nathan Paul. Victoria Petruja. Catherine Ritchie. Isabella Rockhill. Benjamin Rowe. Alexandra Ross. Gina Scalero. Benjamin Schultz. Taylor Smola. Katie Sparmer. Nicholas Spinelli. Elizabeth Swan. Daria Sharatsi. Connor Therian. Alexandra Tetso. Casey Uriga. Marina Vosvashaiba. Ashley Wenzel. Emily Wisniewski. Susan Wisniewski. Jenna Zup. Inductees at home, please recite the National Honor Society pledge after me. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been elected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards of character, scholarship, leadership, and service. Inductees, welcome to the Berlin High School Chapter of National Honor Society and congratulations on your induction.